You have to respect it when companies are willing to experiment with crazy new features, and this might just be the craziest one we have encountered recently. So this is a charger, but it's not just any charger. Yes, it's a bit on the large side, it actually looks like a laptop charger, it has one USB-C port, and it looks fairly ordinary until you see the text on it. 210 W or 210 watts. So I actually had to read the fine print, which is right over here, just to make sure I got this right. But it's true. At its peak speeds, this charger delivers more than 10 times the charging speed you get with an iPhone 14. 10 times. That is insane. So first of all, this is a GAN charger. And GAN or GAN stands for gallium nitride, which is a new and more efficient material that has taken over the charging world. Look closer at the specs and you see that it can deliver 20 volts and 10.5 amps of current. Multiply these two numbers and you get the 210 watts. So this charger comes in the box with this $400 phone. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition. And Explorer is just the perfect description here. Chinese phone maker Xiaomi has the budget Redmi series and they are popular phones that sell in the millions. And this one is a special version of its most advanced Redmi phone currently, with two editions. The 210 watt charger and a 200 megapixel camera. Just call it the Redmi 200, won't you Xiaomi? Anyway, this is what the phone looks like. So it's your pretty much your standard slab of a smartphone with a 6.7 inch 1080p OLED screen and a higher end MediaTek chip inside. But it's the charging technology of the future that we're interested in that's here right now in the present. So let's plug the charger in and see how fast it really goes. So we have the phone here at exactly 2% battery level, almost drained. And we start our little timer here and immediately you see the 210W Max sign popping up indicating that the phone is drawing the most out of this charger right out the gate. And we usually speed up our charging tests, but for this one, you barely need that. Now you can see the battery percentage fill up in real time, which alone is actually kind of mesmerizing. Xiaomi promises a full charge in just nine minutes. So let's see if that's real. But just before we do our first checkup, here's a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's super easy and it helps us get more awesome videos to you. All right, so three minutes in and we're already at a 38% battery level, which really is kind of mind blowing. This is a real game changer. Keep in mind that the battery on this phone is a 4300 milliamp hour one. So right about an average size for an Android phone. So next up, wait for just a couple of minutes more and check one more time, five minutes since we began the test. And the phone is already at 58% level charge. By the way, part of the reason why this battery can last just as long as the usual one is because a lot of the heat happening while charging is actually generated in the charger itself rather than the phone. So the battery on the phone is not damaged. So let's wait a bit more and see if that that nine minute charge promise is indeed true. So we skip over to the nine minute mark and the battery level we get is actually 86%. So it's not quite full just yet. So does this mean that it's all just a fake? Well, not quite, because the way companies usually measure these charging speeds is with the phone turned off while charging and never turning the screen on even once during the charging endeavor. And we obviously have done both of those things which slow down the whole process. So let's see how long the Redmi Note 12 Explorer Edition takes to charge using our conditions here. So at 14 minutes into the test, we're at 99 percent and almost fully charged but it is that last percentage point that actually takes us a whole minute until it's finally 14 minutes and exactly 55 seconds when we hit those 100 percent so in perfectly realistic conditions while often waking the phone during the charge it took less than 15 minutes to fully top up it's not quite nine minutes as promised but heck it's super impressive nonetheless
And these kinds of charging speeds completely eliminate the need for nightly charging, overnight charging. And I would argue that it also eliminates the need for wireless chargers. Who needs to fiddle with that when you can just plug in your phone for 10 to 15 minutes and have it fully charged? Now, if I had to give out an innovation award in the phone space, this 210 watt charging would be at the top of my list. And I think Xiaomi should seriously consider calling this magic charging or something just a bit more fancy than just the number, just for the fun of it. Anyway, you also get a phone here, so you have a 200 megapixel main camera and that's also a big number. But of course, probably no one will actually shoot 200 megapixel photos. Now, even Xiaomi knows this. 200 megapixels is not the default shooting mode because the files turn out gigantic in size and plus they get quite noisy in low light, so probably it's not very practical unless you want to capture some stunning landscape shots in perfect light to get just a bit more detail. But the real benefit of a 200 megapixel camera is actually called pixel binning. Basically, Xiaomi combines 16 pixels into one super pixel, and this way it has much more information to work with and can achieve a very clean look, still 12 megapixel shots, but with a much cleaner look and with little noise in the dark. It's a clever trick and something that actually the new Galaxy S23 Ultra is expected to use as well. Now, I think the main camera here does a decent job, but this is not really a camera phone. Remember, it's an Explorer edition and you can really tell when you use the ultra wide camera, for example. The quality is really bad at night. And that third camera in this system is a completely useless 2 megapixel macro shooter. So for all else, this Explorer edition Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 is just a decent $400 mid-range phone. The MediaTek 1080 chip inside is actually faster than most other phones in this price range. You get 8 gigs of RAM, which is again more than most phones at this price, and you even get 256 gigabytes of onboard storage. But it is really those new technologies that really impress. It's a teaser for the future, when a flagship phone can also charge in about 10 minutes. And I think that's truly transformative. It changes the way you use your phone and it helps knowing that the battery won't degrade any quicker because of that. So what do you think about this technology? Would you pay to have a phone that charges fully in just 10 minutes? And how important is that to you really? Now hit me up in those comments with your thoughts and don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. This is Phone Arena and I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>